A lot of cameras, a lot of chaos, good energy. I'm super excited. Get on stage and fucking rip it up. Yo. Literally, they I really miss, think like, YouTube's favorite all-time daily V moment. I literally cannot believe that. Like, they miss, like I three sat. Each, and then Tom's like, "Fuck it, I can't hit this swish underhand." <laughs> the worst moment of my life <laughs> to lose to the Rick Barry <laughs> underhand <laughs> free throw to make the last spot. <laughs> Fuck me. The backpack kid. <laughs> what? That was funny. Backpack, backpack, backpack. It's really good. <laughs> backpack, backpack, backpack. The recall YouTube. I'm sure Eric just edited that moment. Cold DMing, like you can literally I've type. That, yeah, yeah I, I, I believe in that the most. Yeah. I think it's a complete fucking layup. I think you type in Staten Island or your, or your exact address on fucking Instagram and look at, you know, like I, I just, and the hashtag Staten Island, I just, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you, I just fundamentally believe in it. <laughs> Intrigued by uh, a lot of emails from a lot of you entrepreneurs, a lot of you peeps on YouTube about like decision making. My big belief is that um, speed matters there. You know, it's funny. Eric's filming today. Eric Kastner, who um, who uh, is a super important character in my life because, for fun fact, Eric was the person that filmed the uh, first episodes of Wine Library TV. Was uh, was the, our first development hire, worked for the outside firm that built winelibrary.com, and is really unbelievably and disproportionately uh, responsible for uh, my, uh, my, my tech endeavors, actually, for that matter. I mean, I feel like I would have gotten there anyway, I assume, but and a lot of things would have happened anyway, and that's just not how life works. You know, Eric obviously worked for and with me, for and with me, but also for and with my dad. And I think one, you know, I love my dad, he's the best, but I think one of the things I like to Raz is he just like sits to, on decisions. It's just his normal demeanor. Um, uh, and I believe that speed in making decisions is super important. Even, I, I think way too many people, I think it comes down to perfection and like trying to make the right perfect call. And I think that the right perfect call, uh, nine out of 10 times is the fastest call. And that doesn't mean you don't be thoughtful. It means that you spend your days every day um, becoming a practitioner, becoming great at what you do. Um, and in the beginning, you go off of intuition, but you just don't overthink shit. This was just a fun little call, important decision, new office, but like, not gonna overthink it. Get the macro things in place, figure out how you're gonna solve for that problem, and don't worry about the 20% on the edges of like, was this a problem, was that a problem? And so I'm a big, big fan of quick, fast decisions, uh, especially if you're informed. Make calls quicker. Speed matters. Uh, quick update, I'll be gone for the next two or three hours. I'm going to a Resi board meeting, R-E-S-Y. Please download the app. Please guys, edit uh, the absolute app that you should be using to pick your restaurants. Uh, an amazing company that we incubated out of Vayner RC, our fund. Ben Leventhal, the CEO uh, from the food space has just been crushing it. And Mike Montero, CTO, co-founder, unbelievable. Like, a lot of fun going into board meetings when things are really cruising and rolling and uh, really the, the main board meeting I have each month out of all my investments, so, uh, or each quarter, excuse me, so. Um, see ya. Heading to um, an event that I committed to, good day so far. Just had a two hour meeting with a client that's on the verge of going from a solid client to a phenomenal client where we lost money on the account for a year, um, but it set up the next victory. I think one of the great things that people don't do is they lose up front to win in the long term, one step backwards, two steps forward. Um, obviously easier when you can afford it, but even when you can't, that means you live more humbly. And living more humbly is something that people are not willing to do. They get their business going a little bit and they go buy a fancy car. Then taking the money out of the system that would have allowed them to make that move. Swag, sir. To think about. Now I tell myself, yes, yeah, secure the bag first. Worry about the envy data like. Yeah, what's up, guys? I'm here with the one and only Gary Vaynerchuk. What up? So, it's so exciting because I remember seeing you last year at yep. LA. It was just awesome seeing you. It's been a great experience. Like I can't believe that. I've been watching the footage over and over and I can't believe. Did you see that I put up a recall from the footage? Yeah, yeah, not too long, a couple weeks yeah. ago, right? Yeah, it was awesome. Dude, you've grown. You're getting bigger. You're going to pass me and dad in a minute. <laughs> it's been you. going good? You've been doing a good job? Yeah, I've been doing awesome. I've been killing it. I've you been, enjoying it? Yeah, I love it, man. I love it, man. Good luck to you. Thank it's great you. to see you. Every single person here, not downloading the top new app just to taste what it's like in case it impacts your business is insane. Everybody's in the no business. 
No, I'm not gonna download that new thing. No, I don't need a Snapchat account. Instagram followed all those features. I don't need a Snapchat. Meanwhile, because of that, all the action and opportunity is in Snapchat because it's all supply and demand of attention. So for me, it's, I'm not quite sure why or how or what. More importantly, to bring value here instead of giving you my fucking narrative, my bigger thing is for you to leave with value, why are you saying no? Why are you so fucking fancy? Super fun, just got done with that. Probably the most fun for me in a long time with Daily V because I wish and I hope you don't get too uh, uh, humble about this and edit this shit out, Eric. For me, Eric witnessing what he just witnessed, which is, look, I mean, call it what it is. Entrepreneurship's on a pedestal right now and so, you know, there was never a point that I thought entrepreneurship would be that much of a cultural thing where you could be treated with that level of fame. I thought I, I would be known, you know. I'm sure I said funny things, Tarek, like everybody's gonna know me like they know Bill Gates or whatever we said back then. Um, but there's a different thing going on and uh, this is definitely one of the best moments. Watching, watching all that chaos and all those selfies from Eric's eyes right now <laughs> and thinking back to the, you know, we literally, this is not a joke guys, we literally sat closer than we're sitting right now at a desk buildingwinelibrary.com in those days. It's uh, awfully, uh, awfully uh, gratifying and, and feels fun. And it's, and it's, you know, like for parents, you know how you see the world through your kids' eyes and you see how they get excited about things for the first time the way you did as a kid. Um, it's, it's super fun to watch you navigate through this day.